guys, welcome back to Shannon Gibson Art and Designs. And today, guys, I just wanted to, it's not really a tutorial, but I wanted to show you a couple things you can do with some leftover frames. And then we're going to actually do a pour. So you might recognize some of these. This was my split cup in copper and black. Uh, I only posted that a few weeks ago. Um, all I did was take a gallery wrapped silver metallic of course frame and I just took the artist panel it was a five by seven and I think I mentioned that in the video is something you can do as an option and then I just framed it so panels are really inexpensive and they can warp easily if you're not careful but what a great way to display them and to be able to utilize them in a classy modern sophisticated way so I absolutely love that in this gallery frame. And a while back, um, I've only been on YouTube for about eight months or so, and this was my first ghost swipe that I did. It was either Metallic's Emotion Part 3 or 4. I can't remember. It's absolutely gorgeous, but there were sections of the painting that I did not like. Because here, if you can see, this burnt sienna got mixed in a little bit with the silver and uh, some of the champagne color and what happened was it got a little pinky so all I did was instead of throwing out a canvas or um, having to do a re-pour and not knowing how that was going to turn out I'm very practical I love practical simple and inexpensive ways to do things um, it's not so much about the price but it's it's more about being practical I don't like to waste I like to reduce reuse and recycle so for me it made perfect sense that the picture that was in here I no longer wanted I didn't want to throw out my canvas or increase storage by putting it somewhere so what you can always do guys is cut sections off of your paintings if you are not happy and for me I usually have to love I have to be in deep like or be in love in order to not repour or repurpose a canvas um, if I'm not selling it. And, and I don't sell artist off panels. So the other thing is, is I also do home decor DIY because that's another passion of mine, home decor. And I've been doing home decor and in various ways for several years now. So if you guys take a look there, I did a 3D metal wall art, home decor DIY art project. And I had various different sizes, 4x6s, 5x7 frames, 8x10s. And all I did was, just as you can see here, I removed the backings from them, um, which was not these. These are expensive frames. These are quite heavy and they um, are solid. Um, these frames were uh, plastic. You will see them. I will link the video for you to take a look. So these were the leftover backings that I removed from those frames. And I thought, you know what? Um, I knew I was gonna do something with them, and today's the day. 